what is up guys welcome back to another daily build video this time it's a car that i'm extremely excited to talk about and that is the mazda rx7 group b i could not be happier that this car is actually in the game and we're gonna see how this thing tests out anyways let's go all right let's get straight into it man let's talk about the numbers this car tests at a 217.823 on Get Dirt on it. That is good enough to be in the top 10, but not good enough to be meta. I'm a little bit sad about that, but the car feels great to drive, is very controllable, has a lot of grip, doesn't have as much torque steer as I thought it was gonna have, and it sounds amazing. Just listen to this. rpms they've actually got it right 10,000 rpms on the group b it's just insane nice little rotary engine anyways it tests at a 217 so this puts it just below the lancia stratos and uh i'm really excited to use it in a grand race because it has a lot of grip so i'm just wondering how good it's going to be i feel like it's going to be solid but i don't know how good so anyways let me show you the tune and we'll go for a grand race all right starting with the brake balance we're at 40 percent then if we move down into the springs, the rear spring is at minus 12, zero for the front, plus six for the compression front, minus eight for the compression rear, plus seven for the rebound front, minus 11 for the rebound rear, zero on both of the ARBs for this one, minus 0.25 on the camber and minus 0.25 on the camber rear, both front and rear, minus 0.25. All right, that's it, man. It's a pretty simple tune. The car really didn't need a lot to it. And I didn't adjust the ARBs because I did not want this car to feel uncontrollable on the dirt. And sometimes when you adjust the ARBs, that ends up happening. So it is what it is. Let's take it out for a grand race and see how we do. All right, here we go, man. I've got the Agera R, the Group B Mazda, and then of course the Camaro. I've surrounded this thing with Meadow, mostly because I haven't played grand races in about a week. I've been focusing on the parts grind and the money grind and all that stuff to try to get videos out to you guys. This is my first grand race in a long time. So we'll see how we do. Don't judge me too hard. This might be the perfect route for the Agera though. If we stay beachside. Very difficult left hand turn coming up over here. Most people overshoot it. Hopefully I don't. Alright, there we go. Not too bad. Now it's just kiss me combi. Let's see if we can just keep it together. Up to top speed. All right. We're sweating it out a little bit here. All right, our slipstream partner is in slip. So we're gonna have to keep that in mind. Don't wanna use too much NOS, should be recovered. All right, so let's see what happens here. Can I keep it together? The Agera is just so touchy. You got to hit these gutters. Otherwise, you're going to be taking this real slow. And I actually did on that one. All right, I think we're turning up into the trees here. Not a, not a terrible transition into this into this area. I'm actually not doing great. I'll be honest with you. I could be driving this a lot faster than I am. But here we go. Into rally. Let's go, Group B. 189. That's going to be a little bit of an issue with this car. I can already tell. Because 
the other cars in the class offer a lot better top speed. Oh, it's it's drifty, baby. All right, let's see if we can stay with the Peugeot. The Peugeot is just insane for the class. No, don't hit the wall. Oh, that's bad, dude. I, I could not make that turn. I would have had to have drifted that turn, and now the Peugeot is gone. I've got no slip. This is going to be bad. I'm a little bit disappointed, dude. It's all right, though. We're going to keep rolling. Sometimes that happens. I lost a little traction on that first one, and it scared me for that turn, and then I understeered that one. That's what happened there. And you know what? That just comes with experience with the car, man. It's my first time driving it, and it just wasn't the best experience there. Oh, man. I should have cut that across. Oh, that's a lot of torque steer. Wow, dude. Okay. That was a lot of, not torque steer, but throttle steer. I got to make sure I let off the throttle a little bit in the corners. I didn't have that issue at all in the testing because the testing is a very, like, closed course. And you don't have to really worry about that too much. Ooh, it wants to drift, dude. Oh, come on. You got to give me that checkpoint, dude. You can miss checkpoints all day long in the freaking playlist, but you cannot go a millimeter out of it on PvP. I understand why that happens, though. All right. I'm, I'm definitely not liking this in the grand races, bro. It's not, it's not fast enough, number one. And number two, it... It throttle steers like crazy and it oh, it doesn't want to turn and then when it does turn it throttle steers and loses the back end all right there's a there's a little bit of this that is my fault i'll accept a little responsibility but i will say that the car is not the easiest to drive i dropped all the way down to sixth in this car see if I can make it back in the final stages. I need to stay close. Need to stay kind of close. At least to this guy, King Dante. Maybe to have a chance to pass him. There's a group of them, though. There's a Look at the, look at the mini-map. We got a group of guys right here that's not terribly far away. Alright, let me get that Camaro. And let's get going. Here we go. We're going to lock in, dude. Oh, in a racing, that's not really the smartest play. I gained on him on that one. All right, we'll get him with these gutters. Oh, he's blocking. Let's see if we can get these two guys as well. Come on, we gotta track down at least one more of these guys before the end. What are we gonna do here? Oh. Alright. Nice little gutter there. chance for a podium dude after all of that we have a chance for a podium
He hit the wall. Let's go. Now we just got to be chill on the NOS. He's going to try to come around us. And we got it, dude. The podium. Let's go. Oh, my goodness. The comeback is real. All right. This is a sad video because <laughs> the Mazda just really wasn't that good. It was actually, I don't know. I got to drive it again, man. I got to drive it again. I don't think I did it justice with this. I know you guys are going to be killing me in the comments like, you didn't do this. You drove terrible. Blah. I know it's going to be like that, especially the blah part. I don't know if you can spell that. Just put that in the comments if you can spell that. Uh, anyways, man, this is, uh, it had a pro. Okay. Let me explain something. I tested this car during early access, which was like a week and a half ago. I wrote down my tune. I'm like, oh, this is good. I ran a good time on my test course. I felt fine. I didn't feel any torque steer or not torque steer, but I keep saying torque steer. I didn't feel any, um, throttle steer in that, but it's because maybe that course just really doesn't stress it that much. So. But in this, your nerves are running a little bit. I haven't done this in a while. And I just, I don't know. I couldn't stay off the throttle and the car just wanted to spin. So that being said, I'm not a huge fan of the car because it wasn't that user friendly to use. The Peugeot is super easy to use. The, um, the C3 is super easy to use. And the Delta S4, actually most of the Lancias are pretty easy to use except for the Hoodlum Edition. So I don't know, man, this is a tough one. If you really like Mazda, drive it and get used to it. But yeah i don't know we're gonna have to just wait until uh they add some better better rally cars to the game we got a bunch with lancia but i think right now lancia wins over over mazda so anyways it is what it is man glad we could get on the podium for you guys and that is it for the video thank you so much for watching we'll catch you on the next one trigger out <laughs>